एवरी वन वेलकम टू अचीव अड्डा गाइस इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूजीसी नेट एग्जामिनेशन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्लीज डू हिट अ लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स प्लीज डू कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन और इन द चैट बॉक्स एंड डू जॉइन इन माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप गाइस अचीव अड्डा इज माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप नेम द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इन द चैट बॉक्स यू कैन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दट एंड जॉइन ओवर देर अदरवाइज सेच इट एज अचीव अड्डा सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग the ugc net 2022 phase 1 which was happened phase 1 of examination which was happened in july month so on july july 9th july 11th and july 12th so day number 1 day number 2 day number 3 these are the three days which was happened uh, in the july month so various subjects were completed in this three days so i will be discussing each day paper analysis what are the questions which were asked based on the memory of the students and moreover what concepts have been repeated more in this three shifts from uh, for each day we will have one video so three videos i will post it regarding this analysis so let's try to start with the 9th july 2022 question paper analysis in this video before that i am going to start at an academy free platform last time final level Uh, mock level questions i'm going to start mock questions and this is a final 15 days final battle for the september 20 uh, to 30 examination so this is for the paper one guys usually uh, this is for the paper one so paper one highest level mock uh, mock level questions are going to be there daily at a 5 pm in an academy free platform so use the invite code shiva live to unlock the free live session so do not forget to enroll the links are available in the description and uh, you can follow me in the academy learning app also moreover at an academy let's crack in ta ugc net youtube channel i am teaching uh, on uh, regular basis so every tuesday wednesday friday my sessions are going live in this session for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce so tuesday wednesday and friday at 9 pm my sessions usually be there so current affairs for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce i am starting on this tuesday you can just join me live over there and uh, do not forget to join in my telegram group and if you want to join at an academy plus or iconic subscription you can join into plus platform complete courses for upcoming examination december 2022 examination has been started so daily morning 8 am commerce and 7 pm paper one is going on you can just take the an academy plus subscription by using my referral code shiva live you are going to get 10% off on the subscription right and you will also get all my pdf study material which are chart wise presentation you are going to get it so this is on september 5th uh, 6 pm we will have a one step ahead an academy one event is going to happen uh, on the occasion of the teachers day so you can attend the link is given below and here complete uh, revision mocks also available uh, by the top educators you can join for that moreover guys uh, these are the plus subscription details use the invite code and join over there let's start with the the session which i am aiming for 9th july Two thousand twenty-two, paper one, analysis. Actually, it is not called as an analysis, but uh, as many are having the same, we will also do that. So it is just a memory-based questions discussion. Whether it can be a half question or full question, or the concept related to question, some hint will be given. Not the full question will be given. let's start with a teaching aptitude are the questions there is no subject classific uh, classification here first one characteristics of the teaching direct question it is characteristics of the teaching second one is that behaviorism theory why operating conditioning uh, why operation operation uh, conditioning theory is there na so that related operant conditioning theory which is given by the skinner is there so related to that one question is there operant conditioning theory related question this is a behavioral theory in teaching next is that third one which is direct and indirect teaching uh, 
डायरेक्ट वर्सेस इनडायरेक्ट टीचिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज दिस इज अ प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ 2021 ट्वेंटी वन ऑल्सो सेम क्वेश्चन अगेन रिपीटेड एंड द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज ट्रेडिशनल टीचिंग सपोर्ट सिस्टम ट्रेडिशनल टीचिंग सपोर्ट सिस्टम रिलेटेड टू दिस आइदर एडवांटेज और समथिंग रिलेटेड टू ट्रेडिशनल टीचिंग सपोर्ट सिस्टम क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट नेक्स्ट द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज दैट फॉर्मेटिव समेटिव मैथ द फॉलोइंग इज गिवन एवेल्युएशन so these are the question which i got it while discussing with the students and from various other sources after compilation these are the things and if you look at the research aptitude t test jet test related one match the following question is there t test jet test related which are uh, hypothesis testing and next is that research ethics so ethics of the research ethics of the research related question is there questions are like these are the topics related to question how the question is being asked because sometimes question is very 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 difficult even from the known topic so that's how the question will be framed even this ethics in research can be the possible question can be which are vulnerable to the research uh, that will be ddr data collection data interpretation and uh, reporting one but that question also can be asked in a different way by modifying the uh, way of asking a question so the exact question students may not be remember na so that is why the topic we are writing and here positivism versus post positivism related question positivism versus post positivism right next one is that apa mla style formats APA format, the reference style formats have been asked. Not the exact format, maybe the full form or something. The matter of following got asked with the respective discipline in which they will use it. Next is that data interpretation. Data interpretation, five questions. This is same as two thousand twenty one related question only. Two thousand twenty one related question. related pattern of uh, di same pattern has been given but uh, even when i uh, try to ask them what is the type of di that they asked so di they are saying more are related to table related question has been given but this is not sure by because i try to get which type of di whether it is table related ratio uh, ratio has been given or percentage have been uh, given i didn't got that information sorry about it and next one is that next one is that characteristics of communication and models of communication non verbal communication characteristics of communication models of communication non verbal communication matching question has been given right matching question next conversion from binary to decimal process binary to decimal number system is there na conversion process right conversion process has been because they are not asking the question in direct way to identify what is the binary number of this decimal or decimal of this binary like that they are asking a question how to identify that the process has been asked by giving in a step wise presentation next the 15th one is that bit byte conversion 
this is somehow uh, i didn't understood this question in what way they asked but bit by conversion as question one question is there which is somehow uh, the people are saying this is easy question but uh, in what way they asked they didn't remember full form of the worm full form of the worm right next is that uh chronology of the memory chronology of memory that is bit uh, byte the sequence chronology in the sense sequence right next 18th one so the next one is that which is related to video conference the question related to video conference this could be one uh, any other way like video conference related softwares like previously asna zoom and all and it could be related to uh, there is a situation will be given related to the video conference and uh, in that what are the types of uh, software will be used the question can be asked and here next one is that supercomputer related question supercomputer related question has been asked next reading comprehension unit number 3 which is budget related question has been asked total budget related so budget related uh, reading comprehension has been given the data metric statistical data has been given related to the budget so from that only we need to pick up the answer which are somehow moderate uh, rc not typical and next is that next is that sdg mdg matching sdg mdg matching all right next biomes related this was actually previously expected question but suddenly they have not asked from the past 2 to 3 years but suddenly they given a question related to biomes next energy ranking has been asked related to world uh, sorry related to india uh, the which country which state is in top energy ranking got asked wind energy it could be a solar energy i given this charts also wind energy solar energy wind potential installed production and solar energy uh, potential installed and uh, production all the things you, uh, you need to uh, learn in a sequence or uh, like the sequence which is the top state and which is the lowest state to uh, have the installed capacity or the potential capacity next is that kyoto and paris kyoto and paris related question kyoto agreement uh, kyoto protocol and paris agreement related question is there next is that act nrf uh, act related act functions i think the question got asked and nrf ranking got asked and 27 which is nep 2020 related question again national education policy 2020 related question again they got asked and here if you look at mathematical aptitude profit and loss simple question has been given profit and loss question which is very easy to identify not much difficult and ratios one question is given this ratio can be a direct ratio this a ratio can be ages right next question is that averages related this is a regular question by average question is very much regular they can keep the average of age average of various other elements will be given and they can ask the average so it could be anything any average next Uh, if you look at the lr moods and figure first time they given importance moods and figure question got asked and next 
uh, square of opposition very easy but uh, square of opposition like 2021 question is there na one statement they, they will give uh, they will give the one statement out of that three other statement nature we need to identify if this is true then what about the e i o if a is given what about e i o if i e is given what about a i uh, o so like that the question has been asked in this shift also next question is the 33 which is inductive deductive related inductive deductive reasoning question inductive deductive re, uh, related question has been asked next buddhism charvaka match the following is given either match the following or some philosophy related question is there so these are the questions which i got it from various sources which i can list it out i cannot tell the exact questions by but based on these questions i can say the question paper is every time will be moderate uh, somehow moderate to higher level or below moderate to somehow higher level will be there always any question paper will because 50 by 50 questions may not be known to you but i am telling the same the common areas which are being repeated uh, in the question paper but the way they are asking a question is getting different every time how they are asking a question is getting different now we can expect suppose the research ethics question was there that can be a direct question but that in that also they can put the assertion reasoning and make you to confuse so be ready for any type of question from this known topic which are already prepared by us we are already prepared with these topics and now we are not affiding with about this topic the only task is to uh, revise properly and sit for the september examination nothing more than that do not tense so question paper is coming very moderate level is there out of the 50 question i am pretty sure out of the 50 question if a student who prepared from a long term they can able to solve 40 questions without any difficulty the remaining question out of this 40 even if you are solving without any difficulty or with an easy manner but still you will do silly mistake if 10 questions are going at least you should score 30 questions correct out of this 40 and out of this 10 now which are exceptional questions for all the aspirants even whether they are prepared or not prepared out of this question at least you must get a 5 to are a 3 to 5 or else 5 to 8 questions in in some cases 10 by 10 also you can get it or else come say come 3 to 5 question you can get it correct so that your score will be 33 questions to 35 questions which will make your almost a 70 marks this is what the jrf score which i can tell right do not tense out so these are the things which i just wanted to tell about the 9th july 2022 shift number one right I will discuss in the next video about the 11th July 2022 how the question paper got appeared and memory based questions I will discuss. If you like this analysis kindly share this video with your friends who are preparing for UJ Senate examination and ask them to subscribe to our channel so that we will also give you best output and best quality lectures regarding the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce. Thank you so much and thank you for watching over here do hit a like button. We'll meet in next week. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and please like my video and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.